you had mentioned there's these extreme situations that contribute to extreme results. Um, but then there's less extreme situations. I mean, most regular people in the modern world, um, we'll say in the modern Western world anyways, depending on where they live, is not growing up in a war zone. And yet they're having this same impact of, uh, of transgenerational trauma, as you call it, and also the impact of a un we'll say an unfriendly or a, or a stressed or troubled um, utero uh, environment. Uh, so I'm curious if you can if you can talk uh, a little bit about that because this war zone, you know, like is a is a can can be a metaphor for um, uh, a a violent partner or um, a violent relationship or an abusive relationship. It could also be um, a metaphor for the challenges of, uh, of being, say, a, a single mother in a socioeconomic system that requires a great deal of hard, like working for money, uh, which can be fleeting depending on what, you know, sort of social bracket you're, you're, you're brought into, um, this, this quest for money in order to have security. Um, so can you talk a little bit about the role that our, for general terms, the like modern Western society is playing in the cultivation of a metaphorical war zone for the mother? Well, I think to begin with, the Me Too movement is a very interesting place to examine, um, where we sit right now, which is quite fascinating, hmm. because what it's doing is underlining what it's like to be a woman in contemporary Western culture and actually Eastern culture. I mean, it's not much different. Um, and it's pretty bad. You know, um, you know, and my own experience, I've, I've been around a long time. I've been married twice. I've have daughters and granddaughters. And um, and I am like, it's very clear to me that women have been treated dreadfully. And you can pretend it's not true. Just like you can pretend it's not true that black men have been being shot, you know, and now we know they're being shot all the time and they're being shot forever. And, you know, it's like if you're, and this is off subject somewhat, only somewhat, if you're an African-American man, most people say, oh no, it's fine. It's not fine. And now it's being documented. And it's not been fine for a long, long time. Yeah. And we can come into slavery a little bit and the transgenerational issues around transgenerational trauma issues around being african-american but let's just stay focused on women for a moment um you know women didn't have a vote you know a hundred years ago um women were seen as chattel 200 years ago this has a profound effect on what it is to be a woman and the women you know if it's it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone who are carrying all the children so that it, it's basically been a kind of war on women for as long as you can go back in time. Now, I don't want to over-dramatize that, um, but when you look at an environment in which a woman is not equal to a man in a marriage, and that's under good mostly good circumstances, that has an impact on that child. Bring family violence into it, bring, as you say, poverty into it, or, or bring too much money into it, mm. where a child, you know, is, is being raised by servants or, you know, the child is right away left, you know, is, the moment is born is sent off. Um, child isn't nursed. The child goes through crying it out, which has neurobiological damage, which is a whole nother subject. Um, and that child has serious problems. And just, you know, the way in, a, in the United States treats pregnant women, how women work right up until the time um, the child is born. And it's sort of a badge of honor in many cases. Um, that's in the upper classes. In the lower classes, women work because they have to work. Mm -hmm. um, and there's tremendous amount of evidence, and we're coming out with a new film called The Bond, which is all about how critical that bond is and how important it is to, first of all, sort out all the transgenerational trauma, what went on with pregnancies with your mother and, and, and your father, actually, and your grandparents and sort of get a sense of what happened and then talk to the baby. Think about the baby, spend time with that developing child, has a profound effect chemically on that child. So all of that is a, is a kind of a war, which is not to diminish the even worse trauma of actually being in a war. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
that that's that's particularly damaging. 